hello there let's get into cyberpunk 2077 um, a really weird controversial game um, I'll be honest I'll be honest with you right now uh, I have not finished it I've had this book for like two years now I think so I'll, I'll just say that that even though the game has been already out and I've tried it and I've had huge huge um, issues <laughs> with sound and because of that I just can't get into it and I really enjoy the art and I really want to enjoy the game but sadly it is just not an option for me maybe in the future they will um, patch it up a little bit more but unfortunately it is what it is at least the art is nice and maybe eventually I'll just check out like some sort of uh, YouTube stuff but um, really enjoyed the book you know there's so many cool photo bashing techniques in here and there's like stylized st stylized stuff like that which is pretty incredible um, I think one of my favorite artists was working on this. It was uh, Machei, I think. Um, you'll probably see a lot of work in here from him. Uh, he's like the guy who worked on uh, Last of Us a lot. He was really, really good at what he was doing. And almost half of his portfolio is literally like this stuff. So the fact that the game didn't perform as well is pretty sad because I really wanted to see more of his work but they just kept cutting like corners for the game from what I know but and also there's just not a lot of um, raw sketch stuff in here unfortunately which I really miss when uh, there was like more sketchy stuff in art books there's a lot of um, finished work, and honestly, half of the book is text. Oh, that looks good. I love that artist. Um, like, this is a screenshot from a game. <laughs> it's just old text. Um, usually, I'm just not a personal fan of, like, too much, too much text stuff in art books. Because most of the time, you can figure this out in... Um, interviews or maybe articles but when you buy an art book you're kind of expecting for it to be more artsy like this is an advertisement probably from the um the game which looks incredible i'm not saying it's not but i just wish there was like more like that like maybe four of these but that's just me complaining just me complaining just a little bit but if you've played the game, like, let me know, like, if it's actually any good. For, I know they're promising a lot of, you know, a lot of stuff. And I know the other people were not <laughs> happy about what happened with the game. But, you know, I'm just wondering if it's actually a pretty okay game for what it is. Not for what people were expecting, but just a regular regular game you know like I would love to know that if uh, you can tell me in the comments please let me know I love that design like the middle middle eye light is just incredible the katanas the 3d models Plus the DLC for the game came out, you know, it's pretty, pretty good stuff. I really enjoyed. I really hope that they make a second one at some point so you can have like an improved everything. But um, I think they're watch working on Witcher, which honestly is my favorite game. And I kind of am happy that they are creating more Witcher stuff, but also just kind of scary because um, you know the the original Witcher was based on books and but now they're saying that they're gonna make everything from scratch 
and that just doesn't sound that good to me like it sounds like it's about to be <laughs> super super weird and different compared to what it was before but that looks cool Ooh, that looks a cool painting. Yeah, the environment stuff, hands down, just, you know, it does not go bad. It looks incredible either way. Brain dancers. Install at your own risk. That is cute. I wonder what kind of movies they would be making in um, Cyberpunk world. Like what cinema is like. Are there any big studios in Hollywood anymore? Or is it just all AI created? You know, that would be super cool to see. I'm super interested in that. Like what kind of uh chips <laughs> what kind of chips and candies do they have in the future in a like hundred years is it going to be any good is it going to be super super nice super sweet not sweet at all who knows yeah this is just text <laughs> three pages of text I'm not I'm not sure that's what I'm looking for <laughs> when I'm uh, getting an art book that is this big but I guess it's like a little in-depth lore stuff lore stuff is cool I'm just I guess I'm just boring <laughs> I don't like lore stuff I like I like pictures Ooh, that looks super cool I love this part how much detail there is that is amazing. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, there we go. About television. About TV and stuff. There you go. Do they have instant ramen in there? <laughs> I know I'm still on the topic of food, but like, do they have any good food that is, you know, that is replacing restaurants and stuff? Because I feel like we've been doing that like pretty successfully lately, but I just wonder like, does it get even better, better than that? Because that would be amazing if you can get like a burger just like in Spike It, you get the, the little plate, you put it in the microwave, and then you get like a whole McDonald's meal. Santo Domingo. I love the purple. Honestly, if you have purple in any of your painting, I don't care if it's good or not. Purple is just my favorite color of all time there's a lot of good purple paintings in here well mostly because it's cyberpunk because obviously <laughs> there's gonna be a lot of purple oh there we go donuts I didn't know there's still donuts in 2000 so when you say that dog is cute I feel bad for dogs. Okay, more text. Thank you so much. Um, I feel bad for dogs because I feel like they're getting worse and worse with every kind of like couple of hundred years. Like what's going to happen in another hundred? Like how bad is it going to be? You don't know. I don't know. And I kind of don't want to know. I've enjoyed the show though, because I, I watched the show. It was like a little bit, a little bit off for me, because I feel like the main character just, it doesn't do a lot. It just, things happen to him and 
you get like really you know you just see what's happening but he's not really engaging most of the time and um, in a way it's just not <laughs> not fun to watch Ooh, VR yeah hell yeah VR is cool but um, and everything that he does he usually never fails until like the last episode and I think that's like why I didn't you know I didn't enjoy the the show as much as I wish I could because everyone was so raving about it I was like oh hell yeah let's go let's get into this I'm gonna watch this show so much and then I watch it and I'm like okay well I get this but also it's not going anywhere until like the last few episodes I'm not sure maybe maybe it was just me being old but I feel like it could have been like a lot more exciting. Maybe that's one of the reasons I didn't like it is because of watching the um, uh, what's that show? Arcane, Arcane. It was just so incredible that I think this is a three D three D ZBrush model. Actually, that's funny. Um, I think because I was watching Arcane, and everything was just so structured and perfect and beautiful. I was just like, oh yeah, this is perfect, this is amazing. But the more I think about it, the more I think about it, the more I realize there's not that many shows that are just as good as Arcane. Or if there will be ever. Also, I love pink. Pink and purple. Can't go wrong with that. Can't go wrong with that. Maybe first tattoo that I'll ever get. Purple or pink? That'll be incredible. <laughs> All foods. Gut milk. That's cute. That's really cool. I love that. So simple, but so complicated. Well, not like simple as in it just doesn't feel hardcore, but it's very detailed in like the right ways. I love the tattoos. Tattoos on characters is just something else. Ugh. These pe uh, pages are getting super sloppy. Oh, snap. Cyberpunk's Edgerunners. Incredible poster. A lot of purples. A lot of greens. Not a fan of green that much, but they made it work on that page. Well, that was it. Thank you for watching. Hope this was kind of helpful. I appreciate the time. Thank you so much. And hopefully you enjoyed it.